iframes provide an easy way to embed content from other sites into your applications. In this video, let me show how we can use iframes in our systems. To show you the embedding, what I will be doing is embed this YouTube video in my app. To get started, this is my service studio. I have a reactive web application. Let's add a new screen. Blank screen will do. I'll give it a title just in case. Iframe example. Basically, to get the iframe done, you have to use this HTML widget. Just drag and drop from your widget properties and pay attention to the tag here. This tag, you have to change it to iframe. And then you can use the attributes section here to add properties to it. For example, the most important one is the source. Uh, to get this, we will go back to our YouTube. Under share, there's an option for embed. Open it and you can see the URL is here. Make sure you copy it exactly and provide under source. Second is uh, for the player, I think height and width are also important. In case you don't know, for YouTube, the standard is uh, 315 for height and 560 for width. I'm going to add these two exactly the same way in my uh, properties here. So 315 is the height and width is 560. Let me just double check if it's the same. Yeah, that's correct. By the way, you can also add a couple of other pro properties here. Keep on using it so you can things like frame border, allowing autoplay and all those things are also possible. So let's go back and see. I think this should work. We're going to publish the application to see the outcome. Almost there. And the app is ready. Let's launch it. And the video is here. I didn't put the autoplay property there, but I'm able to play the video embedded in my app. Thanks for watching.